welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. It is Wednesday, October. It's not October. I keep doing that. It's November the 10th. When am I ever going to remember that it's not October? Anyway, it is November the 10th of 2021. And I'm coming at you guys with another vlog, a day in the life vlog. I know most of you guys don't like these, but I do. Some of you do. And I don't have a video for today. So we're doing it. We're doing a day in the life. Today's going to be a pretty busy day, actually. I have a lot of stuff to do. So I gotta get a move on. It's Wednesday, so it's Kroger Day. I have to do a Kroger video. I gotta sit down and just come up with matchups. Also today, I have seven different packages to send to the post office. Five of them are Etsy shop orders. Um, one of them is just a personal package I'm sending to a family friend. And then the other one is a marketing thing. I'm sending um, a little sampler of my products to another YouTuber and she's gonna review it on her channel. So that'll be cool. Um, so yeah, we got that going today. So seven packages need to go out to the post office. And then I also want to run to JCPenney. They're having a big Black Friday, Black Friday sale, even though it's not Black Friday, but they're having a big sale. There's a couple things I want slash look at and see if I really want to get them or not. But I saw some things online. I'm that weirdo who looks online at stuff and then sees if it's available in the store and then I go in the store and buy it. So it's a little weird. But anyway, that's kind of what's up. And I also want to rent a shoe carnival because I saw a pair of shoes on a really good deal. I need some new shoes. And so I might run in there and see if they have my size or whatever. I have a hard time waiting. Should I wait till actual Black Friday to buy these things? Or should I buy them now during these like pre-Black Friday sales? I don't really know. Black Friday is so different now because of COVID. It just changed everything. I feel like we're never going to go back to the old Black Friday again, which is good and bad. I don't really know. But anyways, it kind of changes your shopping game a little bit. Also, I am currently, while I'm doing all this computer work, I am going to be listening to Chris the Maximizer's podcast because I was her special guest on her podcast for this latest um, podcast that just went up. You can find it on Apple, um, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, pretty much any podcast place. She's got it um, posted over there. So definitely check that out. We talked about my YouTube journey. We talked about my couponing journey, like how I got started, the backstory. A lot of you guys love that kind of thing. A lot of people will say, like, how'd you get started? Definitely check out Crystal's podcast and you can see that. This is awesome. So definitely check that out. But I'm going to actually listen back to it while I'm working on videos. because It's actually been a couple months since we recorded. And so I kind of forget most of what I said. So I'm going to go back through and listen and do all that. But anyways... We're going to make a cup of hot chocolate, grab some breakfast. It's cold. It's cold this morning. So I'm going to do that, grab some breakfast, and get to work. So yeah, I'll catch you guys during that at some point. You know it's looking a lot like Christmas when you have to park like a mile away to get inside of Kroger. Yeah. When you really want a pumpkin roll loaf thing, but you remember you're on Weight Watchers, so you're gonna try to be good. Because I'm sure this thing's like a million calories. Yeah, that's not good, so resist. My cooker finally restocked on these smart ones, so I'm really happy. I definitely did stock up and get 11 because we love these and at 99 cents, that is absolutely amazing. All right, y'all, it is 12, 19 p.m. I'm back from Kroger, got that video already edited, uploaded, all that stuff. So that's what's up right now. I am currently now working on orders. So I have five orders that need to go out today for customers. I have a package I'm just sending to a family friend. And then I also have a package I'm sending over to Gina Schweppe. I reached out to Gina and asked her if she would be interested in reviewing some of my products for her guide to gifting video. And she said, absolutely, she'd love to. So I'm so excited. I'm going to send her kind of an assortment of various products um, for her to review in that video. And so that'll be so awesome. I really appreciate Gina being willing to do that. That is so nice of her, and so I'm super, super pumped for that. But anyways, guys, I am going to be working for the next several hours probably on Etsy. I am super pumped. I just again want to say thank you so much for the support. I've not had orders in a few days, but that is totally understandable um, because my inventory is looking, whew, my inventory is a little low right now because um, I'm just out of a lot of stuff. So like the wallets, it's kind of hilarious to me about the wallets. Like some of you guys are super into, it seems like I have five different colors and some of them y'all love and sell me out so many times and the other ones I have a huge stock of. So like the blue ones, you guys could, mostly you don't want the blue. So I have a pretty big stock of that. 
The purple, though, has been huge. I only have one left, and I have two orders today that involve purple. So I have another one coming in the mail today, so I can send that out. But y'all have been hitting up the purple. I have more people asking, are you going to get the purple back in? That's kind of crazy. Um, so yes, I am definitely going to get more purple in. The black has been another big seller. Um, the yellow, I have a pretty good stock of that left, and the green as well, which is kind of funny because the green was my huge seller. It was the first thing I like sold out of on opening day. Um, so I'm definitely going to order more wallets in, definitely, because especially with Black Friday and all that, you guys are going to probably want more wallets. So I'm definitely um, adding more things to this shop. I posted last night on my YouTube community tab that I'm getting some new products out over the next few days, and I definitely am. T-shirts and hoodies are coming very soon. Um, I was originally aiming to do it this week, but I just want to perfect the design. And so I'm actually going to wait and launch T-shirts next week, T-shirts and hoodies. But it's going to be cool because today, sorry, I know it's probably annoying, but I have to use the paper trimmer. Today, I am going to make my first OVC Designs shirt, and I am going to include it in Gina's box for her to review. So, Gina, if you're watching this, like, you are the first person to ever receive a shirt from OVC Designs, which is so exciting. I'm so pumped for that. So, yeah, we are going to have t-shirts and hoodies. I have a variety of colors. I have a variety of sizes. If you don't see your size or your color that you want, just reach out to me. I can custom make you whatever, um, as long as I can pick up the size and the color at the store. So yeah, but I am gonna have for sure gray and blue hoodies. They're awesome. I love how those hoodies turned out. And I'm going to have pink, gray, and navy t-shirts. Again, if, they're, if you don't like those colors, if you want a special one, reach out to me and I will see what I can do. So yeah. But anyways, guys, I am super, super excited for the Etsy shop. It has been such a big deal. I cannot wait. I'm truly, I'm still amazed that you guys are even interested in my stuff. It's so surreal to me, but it's amazing. It really is amazing that I have people out there who are excited about my products. I'm proud of my products. Honestly, I have put so much work into them and I love them so much. They all turned out perfect better than I could have imagined. So that's why I'm taking my time on the t-shirts because I just want to make sure they fit my quality standards. That's my number one thing that I'm concerned about is quality. I want the products to be a strong, good quality. And so that's why with these, like, I love these. It's such good quality. I actually kind of think it's hilarious that not too many of you guys like this pattern. This is my favorite personally. Most of y'all love the watercolor pattern. And so, yeah, this has been the harder one to keep in. Um, and so that's why there's been delays because these cards, believe it or not, take a long time to print, cut, laminate. It takes a while. It takes quite some time to do that. So, yeah, it's made the processing time a little longer. But for Black Friday, I am planning on... I'm still not deciding exactly what my sale is going to be, but I'm planning on really bulking up and making these things ahead of time for the Black Friday sale with a surge of people. I'm expecting there will be a pretty big surge of people, and so I'm going to be making stuff up ahead of time. Since I'm filling all the open orders today, from like tomorrow through the weekend or whatever, I want to make these up ahead of time and just have them stored and done, and so I don't have to do made to order like I've been doing. Like what I've been doing is seeing how many orders I get. Okay, and then I'm going to print these off, cut them, laminate them, and blah, blah, blah. If I have a bunch of them already done, that would take a lot of the um, processing time down. And so that's something for sure. And with Christmas coming and all the post office drama with delays, I really just want to get your orders down to the post office as quick as possible. So that's why I'm going to try to be pre-making up some of these wallet cards and just having them on hand. And definitely ordering in more of the wallet colors that you guys like. So t-shirts should come out next week in hoodies. I have something else up my sleeve that I want out by Black Friday and not even going to tell you guys what it is. I want to surprise y'all. And so I'm going to have that and then hopefully that's available for my Black Friday sale. So that's cool. But anyway, guys, I'm going to stop talking so I can get busy uh, filling up orders, packaging, doing all that. So I can get on down to the post office before close. They close at five o'clock. So I want to make down there before that. They do have this self-service kiosk, but I'll be honest, I really don't like that that well because it just was weird. I feel like it took longer for them to ship out my things. Like when I go through the post office line, they send it out on the truck at the end of the day. And with the self-service kiosk, um, I took it down Saturday night and they didn't get around to sending it out till Tuesday. So that just pushed, it was, it worked because they weren't open on Saturday night, but it just took longer to get it out. So if I can go down there when the post office is actually open and I can drop things off, that would just make my life a lot easier and you guys is too. So that's kind of what's up. So anyway, I'm just going to get to filling orders and I'll catch you guys after that.
All right, guys, it's 4.41 p.m. No, 4.43, 4.43 p.m. Sorry, my clock is two minutes behind. It's 4.43 p.m. I'm currently en route to the post office, which closes at five. <laughs> yeah, and traffic is backed up. We are on a bridge right now. I don't really love sitting on bridges, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little weird to be sitting on a bridge because I just don't like bridges that well. But sitting on a bridge waiting to get down to the post office, um, and drop off these orders before they close at five. I feel bad for them. They're probably like, why does this guy bring in his orders every day? Well, not every day, but like every time right before we close, why do you do that? And it's just so bad timing. Like how I do it is I do my YouTube videos in the morning and then after that I do orders. So like I did my Kroger video from like nine-ish to 12 and then I um, started working on orders at a tiny lunch break, not very long. And then I just worked on orders and prep and all that stuff. So literally um been a nine to five day pretty much by the time i drive to and from the post office so yeah i thought i'd mention that because a lot of people think i work too hard and a lot of people think i don't like it's just like a hobby so just put it in perspective it is like an eight hour it's a full-time gig it really is for most youtubers this is a full-time gig some of them are it is hobby but for most of us who do the videos like every single day and stuff like that it's, it's a full-time gig so yeah, but I love it and I wouldn't trade it for anything. I love my job so much. I truly can say I do. It's stressful at times. Like it is like rushing to the post office with 15 minutes to spare. That's stressful, but I love it. Like I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to do anything else. So love it. And something I've really come to peace that's made me love my job even more is I am accepting my, um, you know, accepting, jeez, person don't have to be so loud. I'm accepting my limitations. I'm accepting that I can't do every single thing for every single person. And it's hard to say that. Um, I value everybody's feedback, 100%. Y'all's feedback is amazing. I so appreciate it. It helps me out so much. Um, but I've used to take that really, really negative feedback to heart and try to change myself up, change my channel, just to appease. And man, it's been hard. But I've had to relinquish some of that and realize I can really only do my best and that's just all I can do. So, and it gives you more peace when you just accept, okay, this is what I'm capable of. Like doing my videos this way with my Etsy, this is how I can do it. And I've just accepted that for myself. And that's definitely been a game changer in my personal life for sure for sure is accepting my limitations accepting okay i'm capable to do this this is what i can do and i'm not going to put more on myself than i can handle because i i am somebody who underestimates is it underestimates i think i can get more stuff done in a time frame than i'm actually able to do that's a big problem of mine i think okay i'm gonna do x y and z in three hours and then i'm still working on etsy orders three hours later so i've had to accept not putting as much on myself and to be able to really get everything done in the long run. And it actually is really a great, um, it's just been freeing in a way to just accept the, my limitations and just say, okay, you know, here's what you're capable of doing and that's okay. Just accept that from yourself. And I think most of you guys, the very vast majority of you guys accept it too. You do. Y'all are amazing. So thank you so much for sticking with me through the years or however long you've been here there's been people come and go over the years but there are some of you who have been here from day one and you know who you are y'all are amazing so yeah but are we ever going to get to this light like people seriously we got 12 minutes to spare <laughs> fail but anyways guys this has been a very boring vlog it's just literally me talking rambling non-stop so i'm really sorry about that but it is going to get better if I can ever get to the post office and be done, I'm gonna run to the mall, run to JCPenney, and maybe shoot Carnival if there's time I would like to, because I would like to look at those shoes. I told you guys earlier, there's a really cool pair of shoes there I wouldn't mind getting while it's on a big sale. It's on a really big sale right now. I'm not missing this green arrow, so I'm going, because I gotta get here. I gotta get here. Okay, we made it. But anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna run to the mall and I'll vlog there what I get and stuff. I don't really think I'm getting a whole lot of Christmas gifts. I actually think I'm shopping for me. I actually had a Black Friday sinking fund. Oh, they're already closed. Jesus, please don't let this place be closed. <laughs> okay, there's a few people here, so I don't have to feel so bad. Okay, whew, thank you, Jesus. Man, there's so much traffic. This is always happens down here. Thank you for letting me get through. Thank you. 
But yeah, so I have a sinking fund for Black Friday that I'm going to use to help make my purchases. And that'll be really cool. So I can just use my sinking fund to buy a few things. I saved up some money throughout the year so that I could do some Black Friday shopping and I've decided to do it. So that's kind of what's up. So anyways, guys, I made it to the post office. I'm gonna shut up so I can get in there, get my things shipped out, got 10 minutes to spare. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm in Dunham's and I actually didn't get this for me. I got this for my grandpa. He needs some like jackets. And so this is $12.99 for a hooded one, which is great. And then my mom and dad, I told my mom a while ago, I was like, I love this thing so much. And I was gonna buy it for myself. And she said, well, I was gonna get it for you for Christmas, but if you're gonna buy it, just use my credit card to buy it. And we'll wrap it up for Christmas because it's on a sale now if you buy this you get this for 40 percent off so this is a self-stirring mug which i think would be really cool like it would stir cocoa and things and it's going to be a pretty cheap with the buy one get one 40 percent off i've been wanting something like this for a while and so i like that but i don't really think there's anything else in here i want but everybody's got black friday sales it's so weird but anyways gonna check out and then go back into the actual mall all right guys all done at dunham's and i actually ran in vows and just didn't see anything so there's that. But Dunham's was an experience because the jacket I got from my grandpa didn't have a tag on it. So they had to sit there and try to find the SKU number or whatever and it took a little bit but they finally did end up getting it. So it was cool. I just waited while they did their thing. But anyways, now I'm heading down to JCPenney and going to check out the Black Friday sale. And if there's time, shoe carnival. But I am on a pretty tight time restraint here so we'll see but I'm gonna run to JCPenney and do that I don't want to spend too much at JCPenney because I want to have money for American Eagle because American Eagle is my favorite clothes store of all time and they're so expensive so and they always do a Black Friday sale typically but I guess they're sticking with the old traditional way of doing Black Friday on Black Friday because they don't have any sales right now. And they typically do like a 30, 40% off thing. Typically they do it a couple days before Black Friday. So hopefully I can run into it before then, but if nothing else, we'll see. So yeah, guys, that's what's up. But I'm walking down to JCPenney right now. All right, so the first thing I'm grabbing for myself at JCPenney is the Soundmate wireless earbud set. I lost my last pair of earbuds and it really breaks my heart because I loved them. So I'm just going to grab these today. They're on Black Friday deal for $14.99, which is a really great price. Up to five hours play by time, up to 40 hours standby. Like, that's awesome. And they're just um, rechargeable with USB. So this is definitely coming home with me. If you guys need boots for the ladies, this is the cheapest you'll ever get boots is Black Friday at $20. Also, I think I'm going to grab these uh, memory foam slippers. These are Dockers brand, regularly 30 bucks. They're on Black Friday for $11.99. So that's a really good deal as well. And I always, I always get myself slippers and I lose them. So hopefully these last me a while. So something I'm looking for that I saw online was the, and it says it's in stock. It's the Sharper Image. It's called Sharper Image Dash Cam. And I've actually seen those for a long time and they've been pretty expensive at Walmart, like $40. So I've just never done it. But it says they have them on Black Friday for like $29.99 and there's like a coupon or something. I don't know. So I want to find it, but I'm like looking at all the electronics. I just don't see it. So I really want to find that because that's like a, that's a big item I wanted to get. So I hope I can find it. Why am I whispering? I don't know. All right, they got a bunch of random stuff back here, so maybe I'll find it. I hope we shall see. Mission accomplished, and it's not even on a Black Friday deal, so I can use my coupon. I'm so excited for this thing. It is the dashboard camera. You just mount it up, and it records the um, dash, and that's going to be so good for Vlogmas and for things coming up, so I cannot wait to get this today. Okay, guys, I am done at... JC Penny, I think. I got one more gift from my mom, but I can't show you guys that because she watches these. I'm really happy, actually. If you guys still have a JC Penny, I know they shut a ton of them down this last year or whatever, but I, by some miracle, ours stayed. Um, and so if you still have one, check it out. They have really cool, like, Christmas gifts, like, lots of unique things you'd never even think of they have here. It's really cool. Things you didn't think you needed, but now that you see them, you kind of do. So, yeah, but I think I'm done at JCPenney, and I'm going to head on out of here, going under the OSU tent. But anyway, guys, 
I will run into Carnival and get out of here. Okay, so I'm done at JCPenney and I literally got everything I wanted. So that was a really great trip. I'm gonna run in shoe carnival because it's right here on my way back. But I'm trying to hurry, but I want those shoes while they're on sale. So gonna run in shoe carnival. Got my bags of stuff all over the place. This is going down. Merry Christmas to me. That's my motto today. Merry Christmas to me. But running in shoe carnival for like five minutes and I'm getting home. Alright guys. Done at shoe carnival and that didn't go over very well, unfortunately. I'm leaving there empty-handed. I mean, I'm not empty-handed because I have all this other stuff, but I am leaving Shoe Carnival because they, the shoes that I saw online that were on sale for $39.98 or something, they were full price in the store of $64. No, not going to happen. I'm not going to pay $64 for a pair of shoes. So I am going to check back online, see if they're still $39 or whatever, and if so, I'll just pick them up online. If not, maybe it just ended yesterday or something. I don't really know, but... Whatever. I'm not in the mood to spend $39 on, not 39, I was gonna spend 39. I'm not in the mood to spend $64 on shoes, so. Yeah. But anyways, I'm done. I'm shopped out, even though I only went to those couple places, but I'm done, so I'm going home and eating dinner, and I'll catch you guys then. Guys, it is 9.37 p.m., long time, no update. But I wanted to come on and kind of wrap up the vlog. It's been a long one, I hope you guys did enjoy. Update on Shoe Carnival. I actually went on Shoe Carnival's site, and turns out the shoes I saw in the store were not the same ones as the... They look identical, but they're not the same, like, model or whatever as the ones that were in the store. So I just, so I just ordered the ones I wanted online. They were still on sale for 39 something so I got those. And I also picked up a pair of Adidas tennis shoes, which were under 50 bucks, which definitely was a deal. I don't have to buy tennis shoes too often. My Nike ones, though, these got worn out quick. So I don't really know. I usually have a Nike pair for over a year. I got this one in, like, January, February, and it's already looking pretty worn. So I think it's because they were, like, black and white, and just maybe the white kind of was able to show more of the wear. I don't really know. But I just picked up a pair of Adidas this time because they were on a good sale, and, eh, it's it's fine. So... I got those, um, I got free shipping since I bought both, so it worked out pretty good. That'll be here in seven days. No big deal. But Black Friday, like, I have been shopping it up, and that's been awesome. Early Black Friday shopping, um, so I need to go sit down with the budget and see what I still have left and everything like that. So, yeah, um, I do hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. You know, it wasn't the best vlog ever, but I do hope y'all enjoyed the chatting and the rambling and all that kind of stuff. Um... Tomorrow's agenda is I just gotta clean my workspace. If you guys don't know I'm in a different workspace, um, my family was super nice and my room was just getting overcome with all this stuff. So it, we realized quickly like the room, my bedroom wasn't gonna work. So what we did was my family was super nice and they allowed me to take half of this like catch-all space. It serves as pantry space slash treadmill space, storage space, all the things. And we converted half of it into an office for me. So I love it so much. I'm able to have my inventory right here with me, my printers, my Cricut back there, um, my heat press, all the things. But it just gets a hot mess real quick when you're working in it. So I definitely need to, um, definitely need to do a deep clean of this. I've been wrapping Christmas gifts. I know that's crazy, but I've been wrapping a ton of gifts, getting that taken care of because I can get a mess real fast. So once they're all wrapped, they don't have to be like hidden or whatever. They can be kind of out in the open more so I can have that set up around my little Christmas tree in my room and it's all nice and everything. I need to also get decorated fully for Christmas. I need to decorate my office area because I'm in here all the time. So I'd like to have my Christmas stuff up around me. So I don't know. We're kind of have to see. That. Maybe that'll be next vlog is decorating for Christmas. I don't know. But yeah, guys, I do hope y'all enjoyed. I'm so excited for the future, um, honestly. The Etsy shop, like, it's been such a great success. I know it's going to get even better once I get the t-shirts and hoodies up. And then the special thing I'm working on for Black Friday. No, not saying anything now. But I am going to have an awesome thing come out for Black Friday. And you guys are going to love it. Like, I promise. Y'all are going to love it. It's going to be great. So, yeah, that's kind of all I got to say. I do hope you guys enjoyed this. And, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching.